Hello, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook, and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I trust you well. I'm stopping by just to answer a question that someone asked me recently. So first of all, before I start, extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So um, this is my Friday video, Friday the 3rd. So welcome to Friday. <laughs> I trust you're having a happy new year. Um, I wanted to touch on a couple of questions that someone asked me. Tina Bell um, left a comment on some post, I think, or a video uh, recently, and I thought I'd just talk a little bit more about what she's asked, because, you know, sometimes, well, it's good to know certain things. So this is what Tina asked me. She asked me, what is my meditation ritual? Um, is it just cards, drumming, pottery? And what other methods do I enjoy? And do I use sage? So lots of questions there in one. So let's break it down. So Tina asks, what is my meditation ritual? First of all, I am a very feeling person. So what I mean is by that is I've established through a lot of years of exploration and self-healing and getting to know myself, and building my trust in myself, I have established a way of life that is very feeling based. Um, for a lot of people who, or people that, you know, my family and that I see around that I interact with sometimes, who are more uh, ment mentally driven or more plan driven, um, my feeling based way of living can be a little different for them. So it's, I'm a different sort of person, <laughs> I suppose. I guess we all are too. But feeling is the way I go through my days. It's the way I live my life. I am just really drawn to sitting in here at the minute because the weather's beautiful, it's shady, um, it's private. I feel like I can just sit in this space and feel really comfortable. I can't explain why. I j it just feels right to be here. So for now at least, I'm going to be here. I might not be sitting here forever because, you know, the weather's seasons are going to change. Um, whatever happens but for now and for this week for these last couple of weeks really I've been really drawn to being here and it just feels right so I this is how I live my everyday life I feel I check in I make sure that um, things feel right as I move forward as I do things as I change things if they don't quite feel right, then I probably won't apply changes. Like I've, like with these videos and the format that I've been wanting to change the video format for quite a long time because it hasn't been working doing live streams on Facebook. Even when I did one last week, the, the quality was terrible. And I've only just hosted the same live stream on YouTube and had good quality. So I know it's not my phone. Facebook is totally diminishing the quality of live streaming. So I knew that I couldn't, it wasn't feeling right, but I didn't have an alternative yet. So then one day I woke up and I had this feeling that I need to be doing my videos in a different format, in a different way. And it felt right. I had people really panicking about it um, and thought I was leaving or something was going on. But no, I just needed to reveal to you throughout these last few weeks how these videos were going to come. So... I knew it felt right and some people might not like it I'm getting really positive feedback from it in general and it feels good for me it works with my schedule and my time and I feel like it's portraying what I want to portray better so it feels right so back to the question what is my meditation ritual I don't have a specific one because it depends on how I feel and what I need at the time so I went through probably a week or two ago a big phase of morning meditation and for a week or so it felt really right and worked with my sleep patterns and what was happening in the house um, for me to spend an hour or two really early in the morning not long after I got up once everyone else had gone to work um, to just sit and listen to some music um, place my hands on my body and just relax into meditation 
Um, and that's what I did every morning for that week or two. But then it changes. So my meditation rituals are not the same thing all the time. It will depend on how I feel. It could be formal meditation where I rela relax and lay down and do one. Um, and I was doing a lot back then too. I was meditating before I went to sleep. Um, or it could be my creating. It might be my connections and reflecting on things like I'm reflecting here with you now. So I don't specifically have a ritual. What I like to do in meditation is relax to music and I take myself on a mental scenario and it's usually the same thing or there's actually two different ones but usually I tend to go up a set of 10 steps and go into a hallway and into a room that's got my name on the door and I've been working with this room for decades or probably two decades <laughs> uh, and I have established and really built the inside of this meditation room um, over that period of time so it's a place I really like to go to um, and the other place I like to go to especially if I'm going to sleep is to imagine myself drawing out in nature at this beautiful view next to this big old tree and usually that visual just calms me down and I can fall asleep so I don't really consider myself to have a meditation ritual um, and then Tina asks, is it just cards, drumming, pottery? I wouldn't even class those as meditation rituals for me. These are part of the way I express myself. So my cards, like my healing energy cards, these are you, when I use them, when I create them, they're a way of expressing myself because I'm such a strong feeling person that feelings want to move, they want to be expressed. So I express how I feel through my cards when I make them, my artwork, through drumming, through creating my ceramics, which I really love to do, through creating my jewellery and creating the things that I create, even the videos, um, my meditation recordings, whatever it is that I'm creating is a way of me expressing my innermost feelings and sometimes drumming, sometimes getting into the clay, that they are ways I can express without needing to find words like I need to find now to express this um, in this verbal way. So I don't see my tools, the things that I create as a part of my meditation ritual. I see it as a way I express my feeling space, which is, I'm a big mushy person. I'm a big feeler. Um, the other question, another question is, what other methods do I enjoy, I guess, in regards to meditation? I absolutely enjoy connecting with nature. I'm an earth sign, I'm a Taurus, and I love nature. I love earth, I love trees, I love green. I love being in nature, so I love camping. I love um, being in the garden. I love walking in nature. Nature really calls me. I love connecting with crystals as well. Uh, creativity is definitely something I love, as you can probably tell. Um, also music, so I play the trumpet and I make music with my lips <laughs> and my lungs and my diaphragm and I find that really beautiful way of expressing too. Um, I also use my journal a lot. I uh, journal at least a couple of times a week uh, and I like contemplating things. I like contemplating and seeing how things feel to me. And then the last question that Tina asked is, do I use sage? Yes. See, <laughs> I use sage. I'm going to use some before I go. So I do use sage. I use it around the house from time to time, maybe every month or two as needed. Um, I sage in my videos. I sage out in nature. I sage when I'm drumming. Um, I do love it. I find it very cleansing. It feels right. So when it feels right, I trust that. So if it feels right to me, I do it. it does, just because it feels right to me doesn't mean I think that everyone needs to sage. Just because I'm a big feeler and I don't have a meditation ritual per se doesn't mean I think everyone shouldn't have a meditation ritual and should be big feelers like me. No, we're all different, very different people. So I he I'm here now and I'm here when I share other videos and do my things, just sharing a piece of me. It doesn't mean I think 
that you should be like me. It just means that I am hopefully inspiring you to connect with just a little bit of you or maybe a lot of you and to show you perhaps that maybe things like meditation rituals that maybe you think are something I do every day or I meditate six hours a day. I don't. I'm a very active, creative person. I, it would be a very rare time that I would need to sit for six hours and meditate or relax. Um, I'd have to be feeling really, really tired for that to happen. So let's grab a healing energy card to go. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, then please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. If you have a question for me, let me know. I'm not doing readings, but if you have a question and I think that other people might want to hear the answer to that, then I can address that in a video in the future. So let me know anytime something comes up. Um, yeah, so I'll have another video similar to this. I don't know what it will be. My thoughts on something or an answer to a question uh, in two weeks' time. So I do this every second Friday. And then every other Friday is my art creating video of some sort. So let's look for our best healing energy card for now. So what do we need to know now? We'll go over this card here. Ah, new vibration, card 38. It says grounding and connection. So grounding or connection to the earth and connection to above. So we're looking at on the vertical, plugging in, plugging into the earth. It says you are moving into a new vibration. It's time to nourish the new as it grows within you. You are the one who must follow through, take action and do the nurturing. So it's going to be fine for me to say all this stuff. But if you want to apply it or have the intention, like I said before, it's going to be up to you to back up these thoughts, these suggestions, these words with action. Just like it's up to me to back up my words with action. So uh, it's really important to me, extremely important, that I live my truth, that I am as um, have as much integrity as I can in these moments and it's not up to me to try and convince you to say you can trust me I'm the most honest person in the world I find those sorts of people a bit uh, why would you be needing to say that I think we can just sort of be ourselves and radiate that integrity or those values that are important to us um, and through consistency maybe living and walking our path and uh, people observing, oh, okay, hey, that person may mean what they're saying, um, then that trust is built. So it's not up to me to convince you to trust me. It's up to you to be open to being able to trust me based on me being here, based on uh, what you observe from me, based on what you feel from what I say. So it's up to us to follow through, to take the action, to do the nurturing. You know, no one's going to save us. It's up to us to step into the new that's calling us, to grow those new seeds, to make the changes, to commit to our improvements. And not our improvements. When I improve myself and when I, which I'm doing constantly, for me it's really important to always be <clears throat> the best version of myself I can be. And what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, so I have to be the one that plants the seed. I have to be the one that applies that and looks at my life honestly and looks at what I can do to improve myself. Um, other, if I rely on other people's judgments and opinions of me, from their five minutes of interaction or observing, um, then I'm not going. I'm not going to have any idea about who I am. So I have to get to know myself and see what about myself I can improve. What doesn't quite feel right about my interactions? What doesn't feel right about my life right now? So I have to be the one to recognise that and take the action to apply the the change and bring forth 
the improvement potentially. I trust this has helped you in some way. Thanks for joining me. It's lovely to see you here. Um, and I will be back to share with you again very soon. So have a fantastic weekend ahead and let me know your thoughts. Do you have a meditation ritual? How do you work with your cards, your drumming, your ceramics if you do that or other outlet? Um, what methods of meditation do you enjoy? And do you use sage? I'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your perspective on this from your experience? So thanks for joining me today. I've used my healing energy cards. If you want to learn more about them, please have a look on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. I've got some smudge bowls with smudge sticks that are actually um, newly made coming out on Sunday. So please um, have a look on my leannepeters.com website. It won't be active till Sunday, but there will be 20 smudge bowls uh, with smud, uh, sage smudge sticks and some Tasmanian sand and lots of other things I've been making all year um, are going to be launched on Sunday. So please check it out if you're interested. Um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a great weekend or rest of your day and I will talk to you again soon. So bye for now. Namaste. See ya.